Yes, very divided. Actually, there have been protests every weekend in recent weeks against this marriage. People literally taking to the streets with signs to oppose their marriage. Um, and it's been quite, quite divisive, um, so much so that actually just moments ago, the princess announced that she would not be actually taking questions at the news conference as planned tomorrow. Instead, she will just be reading a statement because she wanted to protect her mental health. It is a, a, such a good point you make. Her mental health has become a big focus because the stress of the opposition to her marriage and the delays um, really have taken a toll on her. Absolutely. She has talked about dealing with, uh, actually her doctor has spoken about her uh, dealing with symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder uh, because of this, this intense public scrutiny. You know, not only has her wedding been postponed uh, over the pandemic and over all of this controversy, um, since her fiancé returned to Japan, Really, the marriage has been all over the, the news every day on television, on the newspapers. All you're seeing is drama about this marriage and whether the public, you know, how much the public opposes it. So the princess has very much been, um, you know, trying to take care of her mental health and her doctors have been stressing this as well. The relationship has endured. She has um, will step aside. She'll become a commoner because she's decided to marry him. Why is there still such opposition to him joining the family? It really goes back to a financial dispute between his mother and her ex-fiance. It's also quite a little bit complicated, but um, when this news came out, uh, there were some, you know, there was backlash from the public saying he's not fit, he's not good enough to marry the princess if he has a mother who is involved in the financial dispute. And then it's rolled into something even bigger to kind of represent someone who's just broadly unfit for the princess to the point where, you know, everything from his posture to his mannerisms, it's all being criticized now. Um, and and it, he's just completely under a public microscope uh, from from the Japanese citizens. Yeah. She herself has, has refused a public... Um, uh, you know, monetary benefit to because she is leaving the royal family because of this. Uh, she can't seem to appease the critics. She's now going to go and live in New York. Do you think once the marriage has taken place and she settles into a quieter life, things will die down? One would hope so. Uh, she has actually, she will be the first Japanese princess to reject this taxpayer payment for giving up her status to marry a commoner. It's it's considered kind of a goodbye gift, like a cur courtesy gift for giving up the title, but she has rejected it. She and her fiance actually just announced that they will be uh, paying for the press conference tomorrow themselves. They want to try to show how independent they are. Um, the princess has a, a master's degree in art curation. She has studied art history, and she plans to move, we think, to New York, where he is based. And uh, based on news reports out of New York, there are museums that are desperate to hire her. So you would think that she would actually not have a hard time finding a job and, and making money herself in the U.S. Yes, it's, uh, it could be another sort of Harry and Meghan type of scenario. Uh, what about within the royal family? Have they welcomed him? Has it caused stresses and strains within the royals themselves? Well, in fact, uh, she will not be having... One of the reasons she will not be having a ceremony is that her family said she would not. And, and they are very sensitive to the public public um, outspoken criticism. They're not used to that. They're, uh, the royal family here in Japan uh, pretty much operates out of the public's eye. It's very ceremonial, very, very demure. But this has been a complete another level of public attention. So her, her parents have uh, kept their arm's length. They've actually been involved in postponing the wedding because of the public criticism. And they're the ones who um, ultimately said that they would not be supporting a, a public ceremony to celebrate her marriage. Well, let's hope it's, um, it goes off OK tomorrow without protests and that she finally gets some peace with this. Thanks so much, Michelle. Thank you.